A meta-analysis is a quantitative study wherein a set of statistical procedures is used to summarize and synthesize the results of a number of independently conducted research studies. If done well, it can be very valuable to a researcher because it provides an extensive bibliography of existing research on a topic while also providing a combined analysis of the results of a number of studies. Meta-analysis is a very time-consuming undertaking and usually is conducted by a team of researchers. Organizing a meta-analysis. First, select a topic for the meta-analysis. Second, set up the criteria for selecting the studies for the meta-analysis. Third, determine the statistical procedure to be used to summarize and synthesize the studies. Fourth, review the literature for the studies that meet the criteria. Fifth, code the studies that meet the criteria. Sixth, analyze, summarize, synthesize the results of the studies. And seventh, report the results. Selecting a topic for a meta-analysis. Any topic that has been the subject of multiple studies can be the focus of a meta-analysis. However, because of the time and effort that will be invested in undertaking a meta-analysis, topics that have some specific importance are usually considered. Setting the criteria for selecting the studies for the meta-analysis. Multiple criteria are used to be determined what studies will be used for the meta-analysis. Examples of criteria include the level of a school, primary, middle, secondary, college, locale, urban, suburban, rural, date of the study, last 15 years, last 10 years, last 5 years, subject matter, reading, mathematics, social studies, study methodology, experimental, correlational, number of cases in the study, n is greater than 50, n is greater than 100, n is greater than 200. Determining the statistical procedure to be used to analyze and summarize and synthesize the studies. A number of different, different statistical procedures can be used in the data analysis depending upon the study's research methodology. For controlled experiments, for instance, where the studies selected in the meta-analysis have an experimental and a control group, a statistical pr procedure called effect size, or ES, is very popular. The effect size is calculated by taking the difference in the means of the two groups and dividing it by the standard deviation of the control group. In education studies, an effect size of 0 0.20, 20 percent of the standard deviation, would be considered a minimum, minimum for significance. An effect size above 0.50 is considered strong. For the actual meta-analysis, effect sizes for all of the selected studies are calculated and then analyzed usually by averaging them or calculating a mean of all of the effect sizes. Reviewing the literature for studies that meet the criteria. The most time-consuming aspect of the meta-analysis is locating the studies to be included or analyzed. A thorough research of the literature is necessary, which involves reviewing every possible study to determine whether or not the criteria for the meta-analysis has been met. In the out-of-school time example shown earlier, the authors started with 3,694 studies that they narrowed down to 35. Coding the studies that meet the criteria. Coding each study to be used in the meta-analysis usually involves developing a file of pertinent or key findings that will be subject to statistical analysis. A record of each study used in the meta-analysis is created and included in the file, with codes that refer to the criteria used in selecting the study and other summary data. Codes typically used could in include level, locale, year of study, and or key findings. Analyzing, summarizing, synthesizing the results. 
The coded data for each study is analyzed according to the statistical procedures chosen. Summary procedures are then conducted. During this phase of the meta-analysis, any study that proves problematic can be reviewed and excluded if necessary. Reporting the results. Reporting the results of a meta-analysis follows the same format as any other quantitative research study. Hypotheses generally are not stated. The methodology should include a careful and extensive description of the procedures used throughout the meta-analysis. Especially important are descriptions of the criteria for selecting studies as well as the statistical procedures used in the data analysis.